Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome. Today we will discuss the regression approach to ANOVA. You have gone through ANOVA analysis of variance, one way analysis of variance, one way we will discuss in term with reference to one way analysis of variance, one way ANOVA and the model we have given y i j general model is mu plus tau i plus epsilon i j that is for one way ANOVA. Okay. And here it is the general observation and our data was something like this that the factor or the treatment levels 1, 2, i to a levels and this side the observations or replications to n when we have gone for balanced one and somewhere here if it is j somewhere y i j is there and this is the general model. So, how many parameters to be estimated one is mu another one is a number of tau y. So, total a plus 1 parameters to be estimated. So, in today's lecture we will see that how regression is used to estimate this a plus 1 parameters and how the SSR, SSE and SST can be estimated using the regression approach. Further what I will show you, I will show you one example and then we will see that the ANOVA results versus our regression result for the model adequacy test. Okay, although <coughs> the parameters level comparison also possible. So, essentially we will see that uh, least square estimation of model parameters, the general regression significance test example and few references. Let us see this model, what is the fixed effect one way model is y i j mu plus tau i plus epsilon i j. You require to estimate mu and tau y. So, what you what is the procedure in least square method, least square procedure method the procedure is you minimize the sum of squares error, sum squares errors S S E. You minimize S S E. So, uh, minimize S S E. Now, in this equation what is epsilon i j is the error term, this is y i j minus mu minus tau i. Now, if I sum it over i and j, j equal to 1 to n, i equal to 1 to a, then you sum it j equal to 1 to n, i equal to 1 to a. But what we are saying some square that means you first make it square. So, this square and then sum it. So, this is your S S E, this is your S S E. So, we say this is the if they denote that this is the function of L, uh, L is this function not function of L, L is denoted by this function then what you require to do, you require to find out del L by del mu and put it to 0 and del L by del tau i then put it to 0 i equal to 1 to like a. So, what what it will give you, it will give you one equation here and here a uh, e number of equation. So, you will be having a plus 1 number of equation simultaneous equation which to be solved. Okay. So, let us see the slides. 
what are the simultaneous equations? So, del L del mu given this is 0 and del L by del tau i given this is 0. So, the first one if you take derivative of this with respect to mu you will get this equation. Now, if you do the same with respect to tau i you will get this equation. Okay. So, this equation and this equation here i equal to so what how many equations you have? You have a plus 1 equations that is what we are seeing here. How this equation is coming n mu on this suppose the you just think of this equation equal to 0. So, sum total of y i j across j and i will give you give you n mu will give you this one y double dot that is a grand total. And then mu here n times n means the total number of uh, observation. So, n equal to a n that is n times mu cap and for every uh, tau tau there will be what is how many observations are there for every tau tau 1 n observation tau 2 n observation like tau y n observation, but for mu grand mean total observation is n n equal to a into n. So, as a result as a result when you put the number of observations into into equation then what happened this will be n n sum of all n y i j which is nothing but y total what is y total y dot dot that is what we have computed earlier. So, let me repeat this case again I have 1 2 i a treatments and you have 1 2 j in your applications. Then if I write total here this will give you y 1 total, y 2 total, y i total, y a total and if you find out the grand total this is y dot dot. Grand total is total of all those things. This is nothing but grand total means sum of j equal to 1 to a n i equal to 1 to i y i j. Okay. So, what is our first equation? First equation is minus 2 i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to n y i j minus mu minus tau i equal to 0. Obviously, given that there tau i cap. So, in this equation what I mean to say if I remove the sum this minus 2 will also be cancelled then what will happen uh, if I write this portion this this is what this was is n time total of y i j that means y double dot bar this portion gives you this. Now, minus minus this one i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to n in capital total is n times mu cap. Now, plus this what is happening tau 1 will be for small n times because there are n observation. So, minus n tau 1 cap minus n tau 2 cap like this minus n tau a cap this will become 0 this will become 0. So, then we are getting this equation first equation n mu cap plus n tau 1 n tau 2 like this small one this is giving you this equation. Now, come, come, come to the second 
formula what is the second formula so from this formula we are first formula we are getting n mu cap plus n tau 1 cap n tau 2 cap plus n tau a cap this equal to y double dot this is our equation number 1 from the second formula second formula is equation is y j equal to 1 to n then y i j minus plus mu cap minus tau y this becomes 0 suppose you are make uh, doing that minus minus this okay so so what is happening here then this is minus okay so using this equation what you are getting you are basically suppose for here i equal to 1 to a if i put i equal to 1 what i will get this will go out so it is n times mu n times mu cap plus what you will get here this tau 1 that that will also be n times tau 1 cap equal to y 1 dot because this is the first row this will this quantity will give you first row total ok. So, in this manner in this manner so you are getting first row total from the first equation second equation second row this is so you will be having such n a plus 1 least square normal equations ok so <coughs> what is the constraint here constraint is that if you sum up the a number of equations starting from the second one starting from this one to the last one that is a number of last two equations if you sum up you will get the first equation. So, as a result effectively you have unique a number of equations, but you want to you have to estimate a plus 1 parameters. So, as a result what happened you have a constraint it is over parameterized model. So, you have a constraint that i equal to 1 to tau i cap equal to 0 this constraint using this constraint. So, what happened and, and all these a plus 1 equation you will be able to estimate the parameters how. So, <coughs> what we got we got n mu cap small n tau 1 cap small n tau 2 cap like this small n tau a cap equal to y dot dot that is the total grand total. Then this is nothing but n mu cap plus if we take n common this is tau 1 plus tau 2 all caps are there plus tau a equal to y dot dot this is nothing but n mu cap plus n sum of tau i cap i equal to 1 to a equal to y double dot. Now, this is 0 because of the constraint. So, we can write n mu cap equal to y double dot other way mu cap is y double dot by n that means grand total by total number of observations this is nothing but y bar dot dot and this is what we have we have uh, done in ANOVA also that is what is the grand total average this is from average formula that sum of all observation divided by that is total number of observations. So, this is fantastic. Now, if I take the second equation this is my first equation then second normal equation this is n mu cap plus n tau 1 cap equal to y 1 dot there is second one mu cap is known because already mu cap is estimated. 
So, if I write la now that that mean mu cap plus tau 1 cap equal to y 1 dot by n this is nothing but y 1 dot average. So, as a result tau 1 cap is nothing but y 1 dot average y 1 dot average minus mu cap equal to y 1 dot average minus y dot dot that is average ok y 1 dot bar this average. So, this is what you have seen earlier also that we said that for every row average if if you can recall we found out that overall average and then the tau then we found out the average here this is 1 dot average y 2 dot average y i dot average like y a dot average. Then we say that what is the effect of first level that this average minus this average. What is the effect of i th level y i average minus y that this grand average. So, so that means in general from this equation we can say tau i cap equal to y i dot that is the average i th average minus by this average. This is the estimate you have seen earlier. Now, <coughs> now from here from if I know the all the tau and mu estimates then the uh, residuals also will be known from the primary equations y i j equal to mu plus tau i plus this. Okay. So, this is uh, this is the um, rules. Uh, now, normal for normal equation, there are three rules. Rule one is there is one normal equation for each parameter in the model to be estimated. So, we have in one factor and one way ANOVA. we have A levels for A A treatment levels and grand mean. So, as a result A plus 1 parameters to be estimated that I told you I am repeating the same thing. So, that for every parameter there will be a normal equation or A plus A 1 equations will be there and it is seen. Then the right hand side of any normal equation is just the sum of all observations that contain the parameter associated with that particular normal equation. See here right hand side is what sum of all observations because this is a this equation with respect to mu this is a equation and right hand side sum of all parameters sorry sum of all observations sum of all observations. Second one you see with respect to tau 1 sum of ob observations. So, like this. So, the right hand side of any normal equation is just sum of all observations that contain the parameter associated with that particular normal equation. Rule 3 the left hand side of any normal equation is sum of all the model parameters where each parameter is multiplied by the number of times it appears in the total on the right hand side. You see suppose you this one you consider this one if you consider you see that this is y 2 bar it is n times uh, the right hand left hand side a, a, n times it appears for a particular row number of n times the number of observations you got n replication is there. So, these parameters in this uh, in this equation the parameters are multiplied by that number of observations that is n. Okay. So, so, in the regression approach you are finding that there, there will be as many num equation as many parameters we have and the general rule is that three rules are there you, if the if you apply this three rule you will you will be able to get all the equations even if you do not go by the least square the traditional mathematical procedure. Okay. Now, once you have the general uh, uh, general equation normal equations you are in a position to estimate all the parameters which are nothing but the way we have seen in uh, one way ANOVA lecture the similar th same thing is coming and it is obvious. 
now now i will show you the uh, important one that, that is means that goodness of fit measures goodness of fit as well as i can say that the test an over test overall test so what happened we have seen that the we anova partitioned the total sum square total into sum square treatment plus sum square error now using regression approach how do you compute these things sse and ss treatment if we say ss treatment in if and and in in, in regression you have seen this is in anova one way anova and regression what you have seen you have seen that sst equal to ssr plus sse what is the ssr sum square regression so the sum square regression and sum square treatment so ultimately it is a partitioning the to total variability into two parts so they they will be almost same hmm maybe because of the approach there will be some variability a uh, some difference in the calculated values maybe uh, but approach was same though that mean ssr here is nothing but equivalent to ss treatment so let us see then then using anova regression approach for uh, how to compute that uh, ssr sse sse and uh, and uh, and we get the earlier uh, results what we have already used okay so <coughs> here the we are using uh, we will be using to uh, the concept of full model full model mean if ours is a one way anova case then y i j equal to mu plus tau i plus epsilon i j that is full model another one is reduced model reduced model means suppose that uh, this factor is not contributing in any way then this model can be written like this mu plus epsilon ij when h0 that tau i equal to 0 i equal to 1 to a is true it is true then this model is nothing but this this is reduced model that means the treatments are not at all contributing to the response or the uh, that uh, the independent variable in terms of regression is not contributing to the overall variability of the y the response variable so <coughs> we use these two and then we will uh, apply certain rules to find out the uh, that the sum squares for total sum square for error and sum square for treatment or regression let us see what is this rule rule is that the reduction in the ex unexplained variability is always the sum of the parameter estimates in a sense that each multiplied by the right hand side of the normal equation that correspond to that parameter for example in a single factor experiment the reduction we have seen already the single factor experiment now if we say the reduction is r mu tau then this is basically how many parameters are there here mu and a number of tau a plus 1 parameters you see each of the parameter estimates are multiplied by the right hand side value of the normal equation so what is the uh, estimate of mu that is mu cap so what is there in the right hand side of the normal equation grand total multiplied by grand total what is the second one tau 1 right hand side y1 total like this tau 2 cap y2 total tau a cap y a total so this is now this is equivalent to mu cap y double dot plus i equal to a equal i equal to 1 to a tau i cap y i dot y i dot so this is what is the reduction of variability from uh, of y reduction of variability, uh, variability uh, that is if you use the full model okay now 
<coughs> if we assume that the um, the s from s s some square point of view that mean the sum square of all the observations we are not talking about some square deviation some square of all the observation j equal to 1 to n i equal to 1 to a and if if this is subtracted by r mu and tau what is this this is what is the reduction of variability if the ANOVA model is used then then the difference is giving you some square errors that means this is the variability in y and and this one is here mu is included so this one is the variability including mu means what i mean to say yij equal to yij equal to uh, mu plus tau i plus epsilon i j. I am taking square of this suppose then and this this one this one ultimately we want this. So, y i j equal to epsilon i j equal to y i j minus mu minus tau i. So, that sense if I square this and then take the sum you will get this and this one is coming here and what about this this is what is the model part so this model part is coming here now you understand so as a result we are saying this is sse okay now then what about this r mu and tau that is we say that mu cap y double dot plus sum of sum of tau i cap y i dot i equal to 1 to a. So, if you expand this you will get this one you see what you are getting if you expand this you are getting this mu i cap is nothing but y grand average into this and into this and if you expand this you will be getting that is nothing but y i dot square by n i equal to 1 to a y i dot square by capital small n. And square by more small n. Now, that means the SA, if I put in S S E, then this is nothing but j equal to 1 to n i equal to 1 to a y i j square minus sum of i dot square by n. Okay. So, <coughs> so this is your S S E. Now, this this you are getting from the full model. Now, if we do the same thing from the for the reduced model mu plus epsilon i j, then epsilon i j is what y i j minus mu. If you take square, you may square it and sum of this, then S S E what happened you will get from here. But rather we are interested in this r we are interested only r mu here mu and tau because for the full model and here this what is the procedure multiplied by so estimate is mu cap multiplied by its total total now this will give you y dot dot square by capital n you may multiply do this you will get this so, as a result what happened now, now if I want to know what is the r value of the x factor that factor 1 factor given mu, what will happen then this is nothing but r mu tau minus r mu. So, that mean r of full model minus r of reduced model. 
So, what you got in R of full model? We have already seen this is y i dot square by n i equal to 1 to a minus what is the R of reduced model this square by n. What is this value? This is nothing but the treatment of a contribution some square treatments some square r s s r okay so anyhow using all those things now what happened you got s s e using this formula you are getting the um, that factor contribution or s s r or s s treatment by this formula 1 by n of this formula. So, I think what I have done here, okay. so this the, okay, 1 i by n is there fine, 1 by n of this formula, then then you have you can find out that f 0 value, f 0 value is what? f 0 value is our s s treatment by a degree of freedom by s s error by degree of freedom from ANOVA point of view, from regression point of view s s bar by degree of freedom by s s e by degree of freedom. This is nothing but now s s bar e is here r tau given mu divided by a minus 1 and then s s e already we, you know the formula is given to you. So, I am not writing here further s s e by n minus a. Now, if the, the, this follows same thing a n minus a and rest of the things known to you. So, very quickly I will show you that in ANOVA for the power each rate data we have seen s s t is 72000 almost treatment 66 s s error is 553 like this and then this is the ANOVA table and we found out that there is treatment effects. Now, we have used the same thing for regression what we have done all there are 20 observations then x value for first observation 200 to 20 like this then y values are there then regression model is fit then y credited some square everything now SST is 72 209.75 here 209 209.75. Then SSE is 8352.46, but here it is less. So maybe that is because uh, because of the um, rounding error and other things maybe there. But whatever may be the thing, but ultimately total is same. And then is, uh, the predicted values we have taken for two decimal. So the error is also for two decimal. Maybe that may be the effect, or maybe the approach um, from the approach also there is little different values. And then what happened we found out that from regression also the f statistics is very high and uh, we are saying that uh, it is significant. So, from ANOVA as well as from regression both case you are finding that the power has effect on the each rate. Okay. So, any one way you can go, but please keep in mind here the degree of freedom is number of parameters to be estimated minus 1. So, intercept plus the model uh, that uh, coefficient, irrigation coefficient for power only so 2 minus 1 and then residual is more and that is basically uh, this. Th so, that is M A C is 464. Now, what about M A C here 330, 333. Okay. So, find out if you can find out that there is uh, the, the there may be calculation error please may tell me in the forum and or if you find out that no that there is even further or much closer explanation for the two also discuss it is all, all those things are welcome. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.